Today's episode serves a, a, double, a double purpose. We're launching not only the series of weekly events, but also changing the face of Canadian literature, the anthology starring diverse Canadian authors. As Dane, today's guest writer and editor of the anthology puts it, this anthology is a celebration, a moment to cry out. To cry out, look how many of us have a voice. There are stories and poetry in this, in this country that are about people like me. I am not alone. The anthology features poetry and prose from 30 diverse writers. The word diverse is very deliberate. Dane explains in his foreword, this anthology does not celebrate multiculturalism, it celebrates diversity. Diversity is a far uh, wider spectrum. Diversity recognizes those both franchised and disenfranchised. Diversity includes those able and differently able. Diversity recognizes the geography of Canada. Despite rumors to the contrary, Canada is not a Toronto monolith. There are fantastic authors and poets in other countries, cities, towns, and provinces. Diversity recognizes that new writing can be written by both the young and the young at heart. Diversity recognizes that an author may identify as male, female, or other. Diversity also acknowledges that not all writers seek the, seek the page as their primary medium. We're proud to launch this uh, collection as part of Guernica's fall list. And like all our fall launch books, anyone who orders the book during the launch period, either through the Guernica website or by mail, emailing me directly at uh, Michael Marola at GuernicaEditions.com is automatically entered into our draw with a chance of winning a bag full of Guernica books. Dane, you, you, you're, you're the editor of uh, Changing the Face of Canadian Literature, the anthology that we pu we're publishing. I guess a fairly obvious question is, what does the title mean to you? And why do you feel that Canlit's face needs, needs, uh, needs to be changed? Well, I don't think that Canada's face needs to be changed as much as I believe that we have to recognize that it is changing. Um, I don't think enough of that has been going on, which is something that I discuss in the anthology. Um, I mean, you know, uh, when you say not enough of that is going on, are, are you saying, it, is, that, is there a bottleneck somewhere? Is there, is there some place where uh, th these authors that you're talking about that are out there that, that, uh, that, uh, uh, that, that uh, you know, deserve to be published? Is, is there some place where they're being, they're not, there's, what's the reason for, their, for them not being published? Well, first I'd say that there are people getting published and there's even slowly but surely becoming more spaces where people can be published. But we're not necessarily documenting that people are getting published, that these diverse voices are getting published. And if you don't recognize it, then did it ever actually happen? Um, you can always go change, rewrite history if you don't document things as they're happening. And so that's partially what I wanted to do. And I also wanted to put a positive spin on things because often we, um, we look negatively on the struggle and we don't recognize what has been accomplished. And yeah, so that's pretty much where the title came from. Right. Yeah, actually, it reminds me a little bit of the argument that was taking place in the late 1970s when when Italian Canadian authors were 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 were, were first uh, you know appearing and 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 the argument then was yeah you, you can publish as many books as you like and you can pub you can do all kinds of things but but as 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 you said if you if you don't have the the acknowledgement it, it, they just end up in a, in, a, in a kind of a vacuum. The, the argument then was that uh, we needed, the Italian Canadians at the time, needed a critical analysis of, of, of the work. They needed people to, come to, to actually talk about the, the, what, what, what was being published, uh, mm -hmm. and because it was being published. But we needed people to talk about it. So in a sense then, in a sense you're saying that this is the kind of thing that should be taking place now with you know there are diverse writers out there, and and they are being published. But yeah. if if they're not, if they don't get acknowledged, they don't. If we don't get uh, some sort of 
critical uh, well, analysis or critical uh, recognition for this, then, then in some way or other, they're going to end up falling by the wayside or not. Well, not uh, yeah, to a certain <laughs> extent, because um, most of us learn about our literature through our school systems. And if there's not enough noise about certain groups of people being writers, the teachers will never know. So the teachers won't be able to seek out these people. And um, that's where it starts. It starts with recognizing when you're a kid in your school and someone says, here's this person who looks similar to you or has a similar background as your parents. And by the way, they're a writer. And that could have a huge impact on your life. And so that's part of it, I think.